Uh, uh, my darlings, hello. Hi, babies. I'm just trying to bring in the rest of the girls, and Instagram wants to fuck with me already. <laughs> yes, they did. Mm. These filters are cute. YouTube, I don't got no filters. What can I feel to give in? Oh, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. We'll use her. Um, so let's go live over here on the Book of Face. <clears throat> hey, Ebony, you are always the first girl here. Ebony, you're that girl, okay? That's who you are. Ebony, if nobody's told you this today, you are that motherfucking girl. You don't miss a motherfucking beat when it comes to your boots. No shade. No motherfucking goddamn gay shade, bitch. No goddamn shade, bitch. Damn. I'm glad I am here early. Uh, Facebook and YouTube, y'all girls are here. We're trying to get everything. We're trying to get the technology together for the YouTube. Hey, guys. Thank God it's Friday. First Friday of the year. How you guys doing? You guys doing okay? I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope everyone's doing just fine, darling. I feel very posh right now. Is this thing going to connect? Connect. What's wrong with you? Hold on, I gotta connect this damn Wonder Boom speaker. Come on, Jesus. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, boom. Round of applause for Ebony. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi, Miss Davis. How are you? Happy, happy Friday. I almost said Saturday. Happy Friday. It is. I feel very posh right now. So I'm going to be talking in an English accent when I go on the YouTube. Y'all ready to bring in the YouTube girls real quick? I'm ready. Last show of the week. First week was successful. And we'll talk all about that in a moment. Hold on. Let me go ahead and put this phone on Do Not Disturb. Go ahead and silence your phones because I don't want no damn interruptions, okay? Wait a damn minute. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and bring in Instagram, and we will proceed with the show today. The song is called Wet, and it's about to play. Hold on. Boom. Let's bring in Instagram. Yeah. 
Don't just laugh. Give me my round of applause. I earned it. I earned it. That's called seductive. That's what that's called. That's called seductive. Okay. That's what y'all need to say in the comment section. Seduct. 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 Yes. Yes. It's called being seductive. And Suki, I love sucking dick. I love sucking dick, bitch. You thought you thought posting a, a video of me sucking some dick, bitch, and my only fans link is up. I, I'm gonna suck another one. That's right, Sukiana will. Oh, but it's not about her right now. It is about I. It is I. Move on. Not today, Satan. Not today, neck. <laughs> not today, ankles. We don't have it. Hello, everybody. My name is Boots. I'm the Hip Hop Oracle, intuitive reader extraordinaire. I feel the energy of people, places, and things. And based on that energy, I'm able to accurately foreshadow the future. Correct? Cor Where's my damn sound effect? Correct? Right. If you are interested in getting a reading from me, you can drop your questions in the comments section Monday through Friday, as I do try to go live once a day, Monday through Fridays, to render my gift absolutely free for the general public. However, if you do want to compensate me for the abilities that I have, even so far as today, where I did say that that boy was going to be all right, that football player to look good as hell, and I invited him on a date publicly, you guys as well go ahead and get your little readings in, because at the end of the day, I'm the best at what I do. I'm the best at what I do. I'm the best at what I do. I don't miss, bitch. I don't miss. I haven't missed yet. And if I do miss, I'll find a way to spin that shit. Do not help it! <laughs> it's just who I am. But I am very genuine when it comes to my gift and my abilities. And I'm very grateful to have you guys in my audience. I know it's a weird time to go live. But every time you see me go live in this room, you go to www.spiritsquad.org backslash tip jar. And uh, you'll be able to purchase everything on that page unlimitedly. Except for Fridays. Except for Fridays. I know. But doesn't mother deserve to be delivered from you guys? Doesn't mother deserve a break sometimes? I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. Hold on. Where's my lie sound effect? No, that's not it. The lies. Isn't it so scary? One more again. And right next to that sound effect is so meaty. So meaty. Right, and everybody knows I like them real meaty in the body. Legs and I better not play that for they try to then lock me up like the snapper turtle will lock up a finger if you get too close. My lord, a snapping turtle. <laughs> wow. I hope that's all in there. <laughs> Look at that sucker. <laughs> a snapper. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. oh. He ready to snap too. Yes, sir. He ready to snap. Just like I'm about to be ready to snap as well. Again, go to my website, www.spiritsquad.org, and you can purchase your readings unlimitedly until midnight tonight. I do not work Saturdays and Sundays, so if you do purchase on Fridays, expect your readings to come in on Monday, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can sign up for dream weaving class if you are interested in understanding your dreams better. If you were subscribed to the monthly Zoom, uh, you get in there absolutely free. I have not sent those messages out yet, but they will be incoming before class. Class is January the 22nd. And you can sign up on the pop-up drop-down menu on my website as of right now. Classes are 150 but if you pay 75 for Zoom, you get in free. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Um, other things to discuss, the New Year's reading is doing really well. That is the cheapest reading on the menu, but you guys got my thumbs working because of it. Um, and any other business to discuss? No, not necessarily. I might need a couple of extras for the Boots Bakery Part 2 music video. If you guys are interested, go ahead and give me some bacon emojis in the comment section. If you are local to Charlotte and you want that invite, girl, let me know. My management is watching. We might just might slide off into your DMs, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, Y'all begging for readings. Um, um, um. Cream. Cream. <laughs> Cream.
cream. <laughs> Finish her. You would be begging too if you put credibility in somebody other than yourself. You don't critique anybody begging for anything around here because it is absolutely 100% free. Hey, I think you're a little bit upset because I'm acknowledging the people who actually want my services instead of critiquing what you don't have on in your default picture. You look like a mess. Finish her. Okay, so don't you ever come for my clientele for begging for anything for me. If they want something from me, they can ask me repetitively. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Finish At the end her. of the day, this is a democratic process that we all have created. So when you say something like this, you're coming for me too. And I will could have finish her. Hush, you should have just sat there and ate your food. You should have just sat there and ate your food. And now you're gonna have to swallow it. No, you don't spit. When it's in your mouth, you swallow it. Shut the up. Don't even. I don't want to hear nothing else from you for the rest of the day. I don't want to hear nothing else from you for the rest of the day. And if your little feelings hurt, then uh, you don't need to be watching me no way. You need to be playing Go Fish because this ain't for the faint of heart. <laughs> this ain't for the motherfucking faint of heart, okay? Why don't people understand? You are not going to come here and say what you want to say. You're not going to say it? Say. You cannot say what you want to say. This is not a democracy. You can't say what you want to say. You think you're about to critique me because I'm straight and gay? Hey. You cannot say. You cannot say. I will call it in and say. Yeah. DD for motherfucking hell, bitch. DD for hell. Yeah. Woo. Woo. That'll do it. <laughs> Reading, you got my nape itching. Reading, you got my nape itching. Lord Jesus, have mercy. And if I haven't cussed you out, I don't love you. And if you take it personally, you will be dismissed. Uh, with that being said, oh my God, there is so much, just so much to. Um, oh God, I feel like I'm about to write. I feel like, hold on, let me tell you how I feel. I feel like I am about to write um, in a diary that once belonged to Moesha. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Okay, so you guys, we got to talk all about the spirituality and the physical events that have led me unto the belief that somebody playing with me. But last night, mm -hmm. boy, we had a time last night. <laughs> boy, we had a time last night. Okay, so yesterday we have conference calls for all the new celebrities who are on retainer, and I was able to make some new celebrities meet each other, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, all this goes on behind the scenes because of the NDAs they do sign, and I was talking about how the uh, retinence program works. This is a program where you retain me for the year. You can call me whenever you want to within reason, um, and I will adhere to you. I have 83 celebrities on that type of retainer right now, so I'm excited to service all of you. Thank you for coming to see me. Yeah, that means a lot. <clears throat> So shortly after that, I mean, in dealing with celebrities, hush, in dealing with celebrities, you deal with repetitive rounds of applause, but dealing with celebrities, their energy is a bit heightened uh, because they carry the energy of the people that support them. Um, so it's, it takes a little bit more out of me when I do like group digital seminars like that. And it's stuff that I've done on the low that I haven't really exposed to people, but it's how I keep my, you know, celebrities comforted and it's how I remain available and everybody's on the same motherfucking goddamn page at the beginning of the year. So you don't try to try me towards the end of the Wait year. Okay. So it was just the way that I bring everybody together as a conglomerate. Well, after that, I was so drained. I mean, I felt like Marlo Hampton, and you know, everything drained her that Monday. You know what I'm saying? Who said that? And I was drained. So, what I do is I decide to pop me two Z Quill pills and take a shot of NyQuil. <laughs> I felt a little cold coming on. Um, and everybody knows that I'm not drinking in the year of 2023, not at all. <laughs> And 
so I have to make do with what I can make do with. But I'm not gonna say that there's not no wine cooler in there on ice right now. How you do? You know, cause. So one thing led to another, and what came across my phone is mother and accident. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I was so I was like in that half sleep, half woke phase to where I thought I could have been potentially dreaming, uh, but but I didn't. So I, I grabbed my loins. I, I put on some. I put on what? Well, I put on a leather jacket and some sweatpants and the most tacky shoes that I have ever owned. I didn't even know I owned. Them. <laughs> they look like that. And so. Uh, the lady who answered the phone, like, I kept calling my mother's phone, and I guess it was in her pocket. Um, it was, Her name was, ironically, motherfucking goddamn gay Karen, honey. Whoa! So Karen is on the phone. I could tell she was of the utmost caucasity. I thought it was the goddamn paramedic, but it was actually a firefighter who actually got her uh, from where she was at. Um, and they, they were tending to her and I stayed on the phone with her and recorded the entire conversation because, you know, you got to have stuff for the insurance purposes. How you doing? You know, I don't know about you, How you uh, but when something go down with your mother, your father, you physically, you hit that record button. They said, so I recorded that whole entire conversation. Anyways, one thing led to another. I got with her in the damn ambulance and my mother is not worried. Ooh, okay, <laughs> She's not bothered. She's you flirting with the paramedics. Me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> Girl, she's flirting with the damn paramedics. She's on the way to the damn emergency room so i'm in uh my car i gas up my whip and i am booking i'm talking about going like 95 100 miles an hour i passed the sheriff's office but i feel like i went so goddamn fast he couldn't even uh, fathom whether somebody was going fast or he saw a lightning bolt Jesus. okay because i was gone okay gone okay <laughs> i was gone okay motherfucking gone i get to the dang on the emergency room and you know the <sighs> The thing with me is that if you got something going on, like, I try not to treat you no different. So I went in there and I said, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> what the fuck did you do to yourself, girl? Uh, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I'll go ahead and tell you guys what happened um, just so that you guys know. She took a bad fall. Um, she uh, hit her head and she landed on her face and um it 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 uh it broke my heart to see her like that I, i'm not gonna lie but it felt i felt better because she was coherent and she was talking um and and uh she you know she kept her wits about herself she still had her personality and stuff like that my biggest fear when i got there was that she had a concussion or her brain was bleeding um or, or something of this nature so I, I pull up there um and we immediately like she's like a vip of the motherfucking uh hospital like i i, I told y'all she likes to go to the damn emergency room this way <laughs> she gets her men in okay she did the same thing in murder beach yeah <laughs> She did the same thing in motherfucking goddamn gay murder beach. I mean, she likes to go to the doctor. And I mean, with all that money I'm paying for that insurance, it's good news every time you have to go. Hey, you heard about okay. the good news? Y'all sleeping on me, huh? Had a good snooze. Okay. Um, but but she took a fall and she was still coherent during the fall. And when she fell, it was a car pulling into the parking spot where she fell at. But praise God that they saw her fall and praise God that you can't even get no more direct than this. They were firefighters that were pulling next to her. Um, so that's nothing but the grace of God. That was, that's God. That's God. That's God. She's protected. My girl is protected. So there were firefighters that were there, like that was pulling into next to the parking space that she was in. Um, they advised that she don't move to the paramedics get here. She busted up her knee too. And I just paid for them knees, but that's not the point. I'm just glad she was okay. I get to the hospital. Uh, we, we get seen expeditiously. And then we're in the waiting room for what seems to be about a good two, three hours. Now, mind you, I told y'all before I got there, I was on, I took two z -Quil gummies and a damn shot of NyQuil. Okay, so you already know I am in and out of contact. I don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wish I could tell you, bitch. I I was I was gone. Okay, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Uh, I wasn't there, bitch. So everything's going on. I'm just like, uh -huh. yeah, you know. And then my mother, my mother kept she kept touching her face, and I was just like, stop touching. What's this calling me? Hold on. 
Um, no, 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 no. I wonder why this call keeps coming in like this. Hold on one second. Uh -uh, that must be uh, Jesus calling, telling what you want. <laughs> Hold on one second, y'all. Yeah, boom. Boom. Okay, cool. Now, so one thing led to another, and my mother, like, she looks busted up, but she doesn't really feel busted up. I guess it was the adrenaline or whatever kicked in with her. Um, and uh, she she was okay. She was coherent. She was talking. I found that she was repeating herself a lot, which made me think that she might have endured some type of mental thing going on. Um, so you know what I did? I brought a little bit of witchcraft with me to the motherfucking goddamn gay hospital. Okay, this little bag here is my little witchcraft bag on the low, and I sure enough did sit up in that lobby and cast the spell on her behalf. Um, it was towards about six hours. Now, my drive went to sleep, child. Her car was still left at the post office, so I ended up having to um, lift to the post office, get her car, bring her car back to the hospital, then figure it out from there because I wasn't sure if she was going to be able to drive or not. Um, and again, this whole time she's talking. This whole time she's coherent. She asked for um, some Wendy's, and I was like, don't you want some breakfast? Oh, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast. The breakfast. The breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, and then I'm going to go daddy to y'all Sunday. Yep. Right. So the one thing led to another, like we to go get some Wendy's. We are breaking bread in there. There's a candle burning in the middle of this table that I had officiated for our belief system and our purposes. And, you know, we live in America. We got freedom of religion. Can't nobody tell me I can't do what I was doing in there. So I did. Okay. Now, mind you, I told you I was knocked out, right? So after I ate that food, I went to sleep. I was sleep on the damn thing. My mother then asked me, are you going to stay here the whole time? I was like, where else the fuck I got to be? Then she turns into motherfucking Casper the Ghost. Then she turns into motherfucking cast with a ghost. I peeped my eye open for a minute and snagged that picture. And then I was going back to sleep. <laughs> okay, so I don't really see angels that much. Okay. Um, just like I don't really see hierarchy demons that much. Now, the world is polluted with minor demons that always make their uh, presence known. Uh, but and they're more prevalent than ghosts in this reality, as my mother is dressed as right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Um, but I, I was going back to sleep in my in sleep, half sleep state. I keep hearing the beeping go off in the background that became a slight bit meditative for me. And I had already cast a ritual in the middle of the damn hospital table thing. Um, so it was only natural that I was going to see something. I, out of the corner of my eye, you guys know if you guys uh, can see shadows or anything like that, it always appears in the peripheral of your vision. Well, in my peripheral, I see, and I see it directly, an albino man with blonde hair like Rico Suave looking at a newspaper or some type of magazine. He was dressed in all black and he has on the new Louis Vuitton season 2023 spring collection shoe. Okay. And I know that shoe because I just got done looking at that shoe before all this hubbub took place. I looked, I looked at it, him, excuse me. I looked at him and I said, is it time? And he said, oh no, you got a long time to go. Cause I didn't know if I was dealing with the Reaper spirit, a Reaper spirit. They come to take you to the other side. They're like your taxi cab drivers from this reality to the next. And he said, he looked at me with the most piercing blue eyes. And he said, oh no, it's not time yet. I'm just here. I said, why are you here? He said, I'm always here with her. And then I'm in sleep state. We wake up to the doctor uh, calling us back to uh, get uh, the, the, the diagnosis or the results of her testing and things of this nature. It was an angelic encounter. <clears throat> okay. And you might ask why I don't see angels that much. Why aren't they as active as they were in the Old Testament? They're not here as much as they have been. Uh, we do have angels and demons that govern our reality as well as our ancestors serving as a conduit to do so. But I don't directly channel Satan the same way I wouldn't directly channel Jesus Christ. I, I, I feel like I'm an earthbound spirit that deals with um, the astral realm, the ethereal realm, the... Um, the Shinsum realm, which is, is is equal and adjacent to the astral realm, except for it's underneath. Um, and that's as low as I go. You know what I'm saying? I don't be going all up and all down. And I've had very rare occasions where I've seen angels. This is probably my second time. And I do remember when I got out of rehab, I had got access to certain upper realms that I wasn't conscious of before. You guys remember this. I was at the old house. I know you guys remember because y'all been with me for six, seven years. So... In this encounter, I felt warmed. I felt comforted. I felt 
Um, good. And he was fine as hell. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. If he wasn't an angel, I would have been sucking his dick. I love sucking dick, bitch. You I'm sorry, but that angel was fine. And he just gave me like these attractive, um, energy that I'm like, oh my God. Like maybe, you know, I'm used to demons when it comes to niggas. Maybe I need to deliver myself and get me an angel or us. Okay? I'm not gay no more. No shade. I am delivered. No shade. Oh, oh that ain't fine. That was fine. I don't like women. Okay. Um, and his hair was like Rico Suave. It was like swoop the doop. And I was like, oh my God. Yes. Yes. Oh. Um, Sorry about that. Okay, so next thing you know, we get called to the back. Um, and again, my mother, the aesthetic of her. I mean, and me, because she's talking, I'm just talking to her like normal. But it's, it, 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 I mean, yeah, she 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 took a fall. Um, so the doctor comes and uh, she looks at the doctor and says, "You the doctor." And I was like, mama, you can't be talking to people like that. It was a girl doctor. So she was a slight bit disappointed. I could tell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She was a slight bit disappointed, um, but I was not. I was just happy that she was okay, um, and they cleared her to drive. So she got in her car. I tried to tell her, but bitch, I was about to run out of gas. I pulled up to the gas station. I called on the phone. Come to the gas station. I got to pull up. She said, I'm going home. So she uh, left me, and the next phone call I got, she was in the bed, and she's uh, recovering very, very well. So that is what happened last night. And, baby, when I tell you, that is not my type of time, but we had a time. Mm. Last night. Boy, we had a time last night. Yes, we did. Time nice. Honey, and I swear that angle, that angel, he about to have me take up another language. I'm about to take up angelic tongues. Just so that we can communicate, like I said. I said what I said. You know what I'm saying? Because that motherfucking angel was fine. So I come back home today, um, and I actually uh, left the garage unlocked, my garage door unlocked, which was the wrong thing to do. I woke up, and Cerberus was gone. <laughs> No! Cerberus was motherfucking gone. Cerberus was gone. I didn't know where the baby was, so I come up here and I grab the bones and I said, locate my baby. And it's so funny because one of my bones here is shaped like a, a uppercase L. Well, he ended up being at Linda's house up the damn street going for the breakfast. He was just going to breakfast. Oh, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast. Yeah. The breakfast. He was going the to breakfast. breakfast. The breakfast, the breakfast. But I will tell you, in that brief moment of abandonment that I felt, it was almost like I was being faced with the potential, you know, injury of my mother. Um, and again, when stuff like this happens, I go into autopilot, but there is a subconscious fear of, you know, her dying. And I've always had it ever since I've been adopted. I'm like, okay, like, you know, um, and I've had dreams about it. I know how it's going to go down. She wants to be cremated and I know where I'm going to, uh, you know, because she has very specific demands towards her death. We've had that grown up talk. This is where my will is. This is what happens when I die. All of that has been conversed. And I think I've been handling it very maturely. And I, I think in moments of crisis, I served as a rock. One of the biggest things, um, that she said that is about to make me cry she said i didn't want to disturb you oh my god i'm about to cry she said i didn't want to disturb you because i know you're so busy helping other people and i honestly didn't expect you to stay with me the entire eight hours i was in the emergency room and i said girl where else would i be And, uh, you know, I, 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 uh, I, I go live all the time. I'm always servicing the client and stuff like that. And I never wanted to give off the impression that I am too busy for her. But subsequently, in the success of my business, I have been too busy for some sentimental moments. I have not spent as much time as I should be spending with her. I, I, I'll i be honest in saying that, and I, I, I'll i definitely say this too, that during my New Year's resolution spell, I asked God, give me more time to spend with her. She's 76 years old. You know, I'm 32. She adopted me when she was 43, um, fully when she was 50. So for me, where else would I be? And for you to even have to question that, let me know 
that my desires of spending more time with you are, are necessary. And, you know, it even makes me think that maybe you were stirring conflict with me to get my attention so that you can have attention or time spent with your son. I never wanted to give the impression that I was too busy for you, sis. I'm never too busy for you, mom. You saved my life. And if I get a call or a text message that says accident or come right now, I don't give a fuck if I'm in motherfucking Zimbabwe. I will be on the first flight to you. But nine times out of 10, you're going to be in Zimbabwe with me, bitch. We're going to accomplish this shit together. <clears throat> You know, I'm single. I, you know, I don't got no man. I have a mom, bro. I have a mom. And and my dad, you know, they went through their separation or whatever. And my dad came later. I was adopted just by her. And I chose team mom in the divorce. Of course, that's what a son's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? If, if you are a woman who's going through a divorce, your son should choose your side. That's just my opinion. Protect women at all costs. You know, and I am a feminist. I, 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 I'm a feminist to the heart of me. <laughs> um... But uh, I heard from my dad, but my mom is my rock, and that rock will start to go with me when I go, if she wants to go. But she's like me. We enjoy our independence. She raised me to be the lender, never the borrower. She's raised me to be very independent, not depend on anyone, but cherish the relationships that we do have. She's just like that. She don't want no leash on her. I'm never going to put her in no home. She will always be in her home if that's what she chooses to do, okay? If you want a boyfriend, I will hire a man for you, and I've already thought about it. No shade. Uh, but right now, she's dating a Caucasian doctor who I don't know how good it's going because she just went back to the emergency room looking for another man. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but all in all, if I could give myself any words of advice as I am growing in success, you know, I, I don't live in regrets. If it wasn't for my grinding years, you know, I wouldn't have it. You know, I wouldn't have a system that works for me right now, you know, so I don't I don't have any regrets. But what I am grateful for is the awakening. They're not always going to be here. So don't take advantage of your loved ones today. That's kind of what I got from that. And uh, anybody want a motherfucking dog? Because Cerberus got one more time to run away from this motherfucking house. And I'm going to get his ass away. And it's no motherfucking shade. Wait a damn minute. Woo, gotta do it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You don't have to worry about me. He was up there having fucking breakfast with Linda. Oh, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast, the breakfast. The breakfast. The breakfast, the breakfast. He got it one more time. One more. I the promise you. I promise you. Maya's watching this video. Maya, you're going to be taking care of a dog. Okay, you're going to take him with you. He got one more time. He can't keep fuck with my abandonment issues like this. Okay, maybe this was his way of trying to get me to work out because walking to Linda's house and back to the house. Oh, bitch, I needed a chicken salad. Y'all better come up here and get one of these. What's that? It's a chicken salad. Okay, but I ordered Mediterranean today. It was so good. But there is nothing like um Zang Cow Chicken in LA. I need that. I need that right about now. And I plan on being in LA next week. Yeah, I gotta pull up next week to handle some business, okay? Um, because that's what a motherfucking boss do. Where's my sound effect? If you wanna know what a motherfucking boss looks like, bitch, you look at that woman. <laughs> a bitch that handles big business. Okay. Uh so with that being said, I guess I'm gonna play a record of mine. This is the first record I came out with. Uh, it's called Pure. You guys like it. It's a fan favorite. I'll play this for now. And then I'll start to answer your questions. Um, well, first, let's discuss. How was your first week of 2023? How was it? How did it go? <clears throat> How was it? How was it? I'll give you a sound effect. Uh, to, to uh, describe how my first week was. The smoking crack on live. That's me. That's me. Let me smoke crack on my live. <laughs> okay, girl, whenever that was, if I want to see her smoke crack on my live. Not that's me. If you want to send me money for a reading while I'm smoking crack, that, that was on y'all. <laughs> okay, now I'm still red. red. Oh! But girl, let me shut up because now it's a problem. I just spilled this come to me cologne. I'm about to have all the niggas coming. Shut up, Tyra. <coughs> um, my first week was easy. Easy. That's the word I would use. It was easy. After six years of being in business, I feel like I, woo, kiss this groove, do my shoes, it's all right. 
I have a good pace about me. I am not stressed out about work. I'm missing my clients, but the good news is I start to see them next week. I have a flow um, and I'm relaxed in my flow. I have peace, okay? And it's so interesting. I don't know, did I post my New Year's spell? What I did for New Year's? That fire was popping, bitch. Um, and I, I, I infused it with my intention. I stood naked in front of the flame. I know my neighbors got so many new pictures of me right now. They might as well open up an OnlyFans in my name because I know everything do over there. Red do, lights do, car no do, insurance do, mountain do, baby shark do, 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 every damn thing do. And we're going to rejoice because you and your homegirl can pay. It's upsetting me and my homegirl because we feel like... Well, damn, if you can't go to what the hell could you go? Nowhere, ho. With that being said, yeah, my first week was easy. I have a flow about me. Uh, goals are becoming accomplished uh, slowly but surely. I feel that this is going to be a year of worth, value, and honor. And that's exactly what we are going to usher in. Let me know something good that happened to you this week while I take this minute break. Shuffle the tarot. Clean off this uh, enchanted cologne that's going to have all the niggas coming. And I'll be right back. This is my song called Pure. I love you. And you best to keep your poo nanny pure. Summer's Eve. And up there, I'm he said, I got you. He said, I got you. He said, Okay, so what I will tell y'all is this. You know, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Prior to yesterday, I didn't have health insurance. I didn't have health insurance. Um, there was a time I was gonna get it and I was gonna employ my staff with it. But as of today, Blue Cross Blue Shield, <laughs> anything can happen. And I ain't about to pay that hospital bill. I was so happy, baby, because I know I pay all her bills right. So I was so happy that they said that her insurance covers everything. I, I will happily continue to pay insurance. Matter of fact, I put an insurance on my damn dog. Wait a damn. damn. You're right. Not that dog, because that dog got one more time. Stop he it. got one more time to run the fuck off and then. Woo, that'll do it. <laughs> mm -mm. You don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> he can't keep playing with me like that. Okay, remember, code PORNT. You guys remember, code PORNT. Whoa. Code PORNT. Cold point. I'm with smoking crack on. Cold point takes 22% off of all of your orders until midnight. Just understand this. At midnight, this shit shuts down. But I will go live tomorrow before we have the Boots Bakery party. Okay? It's going down in my group me. If you haven't joined in the tip jar, bitch, you need to join. Stop it! If they don't fucking join, what's their problem? Because she has nothing else going on. And while she's sitting around running around talking about my husband and my the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks. Okay. Um, somebody asked what lip this is. This is a um dragoon beauty lip. It's red. Um, I get it at that new makeup store. What it's called? Um, tart. Oh no, that's just how your pussy smell. 
<laughs> um, Marie Folk, um, you getting refunded. And stop calling me best friend. I am not your motherfucking best friend. I am a psychic. I'm everybody's best friend. Look, let me tell you something, Miss Folk. Let me tell you something, Miss Folk. Miss Folk, Miss Folk, Miss Folk, Miss Folk. You had 15 minutes of my motherfucking time. 15 minutes. And now all of a sudden you are tagging me in posts. You are creating content around me and things of this nature while simultaneously telling me that four of your text message readings came up wrong. Four of them. Four of them. I sent you to my management so goddamn fast. And I told her to tell you that you are banned from buying anything else until you get yourself together. Okay. Now, Miss Folk, Miss Folk, Miss Folk. Now, I love you, Miss Folk, but I even had to put Troy on a one paragraph a week damn uh, a notion that she's been using her paragraph very well. But, Miss Folk, don't start this bullshit in 2023. Don't start this bullshit in 2023, Miss Folk. Okay, that's not what you finna do. Miss Folk, weren't you half banished three months ago for calling me during a motherfucking meeting for a spell? Mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. It's for audition. Miss Folk, Miss Folk, Miss Folk. We set up there in that appointment where your daughter says you've lost your goddamn mind in accordance to who I am. What you not gonna do, Miss Folk? You not about to bother me? You not about to bother me on this? The first Friday in 2023. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. You're not going to bother me. You have been refunded. You have been refunded. Get it together and then come back. Let me be clear about something. I ain't none of y'all hoes best fucking friends. Okay, I ain't none of y'all hoes best friend. <laughs> Look, this this internet this internet gives people a false sense of closeness. I service you. I am your psychic. I'll even suck your dick if it's big and light skin. Okay, but baby, when it come to best friends, you would have had to. You would have. I mean, we would have had to go through stuff. All we went through was a fifteen minute appointment. <laughs> okay, now that's not to say that y'all on the internet are not closer to me than people I do call friends because I tell y'all more than I tell people that's, that's close to me now. I gotta be honest. But you gotta know your role. A best friend will knock on my door and I will open the door. If you knock on my motherfucking door, I'm going to finish her. So Everybody's making these tweets and Facebook posts about new year, new me. Shut up. <laughs> You're still on meth, Cheryl. And this chick in her cookie monster pajama smoking some more. Right? Read, son. Talking about new year, new me. Read. Listen, the only thing new for you this year is a new baby and a brand new baby dad. She the type of chick that had four kids and five different baby dad. How does that happen? She, she don't even you. know. They're best friends. Talking about how 2018 won't turn book, but we can tell. Take a picture of last year, put it together with a picture of this year, looking like a before and after picture, like you say on the walls in high school. Before, before and after, after bath salt. salt. Ooh, Ooh, that that. Who said that? Who said that? Let me get me in my booth finally. 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 Let me get me in my booth finally.
Tell me. Yes. The graduate shows up upright, which basically suggests that this individual will be coming around June or July of 2023 with a G in the name, sister. New Year's reading for Latara. You have the Hex Ruster card showing up upright. This year is going to spawn valid connections with you. Do not hold back in linking with people, sharing business ideas with people, but don't be too trusting, especially going into the fall of 2023, where I feel like people are partnering with you to lose to use you. Okay. It's no thinking, it's no sense in thinking about how a snap and total snap is just gonna snap. That's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to stop being crazy. How? Money making months are May and October of 2023 for you, Latar. Thank you for New Year's reading again. Everything 22% off using code PORNT. Code PORNT. And then the smoke got me. I got no bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, Stacy, career reading, please. Uh, there's a shift coming up here, but I also feel like it's a shift to your advantage. You're going to be doing the same thing with a lot more money and a better team. That's what this looks like. And it looks like it's happening towards the first week of February, 2023. Congratulations, because there is no way that you're going to stay over there. I feel like the, co the, 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 the population, the, gre the gregariousness of the population is corrupt. Okay. And ain't nobody got time for that. And then the smoke got me. <laughs> Um, hi, Booth. I am thinking of purchasing a house in Azores, Portugal. Will I get a home there with my hubby? Why the hell you want to go to Portugal? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry? I'm just trying to say, you're too damn skinny. Look at you. You both smell like a woman that got little, you know, little hey, hey, You ain't got nothing. You're just skin and bone sitting in a chair, bone and skin. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Um, let's see. Are you going to get a house in Portugal? Well, honestly, that's a yes. With very uh, little resistance. Congratulations on your Portugal house. Yeah, for your Portugal house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think you're going to get your Portugal house. Am I going to win this court case? Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Stop it! But I feel like there's still victoriousness after you lose, though. So maybe losing was the, is the best thing that could occur. I don't know how spirit is moving with this, but this is saying no to your benefit. I guess you have to wait and find out. Wait a damn minute. Right. Um, this is for Pamela Ramirez. Hello, Pamela Ramirez. Uh, hey, Boots. Hope all is well. Just wanted a three-month love reading and to see what good things are in store for me. So which one do you want? Do you want a good news read or do you want a motherfucking love read? Which one do you need, bitch? Stop it! I'm not going to stop Tyra because I'm tired of these questions when they try to take advantage of me. I ain't no figure eight ball. You better stay in the criteria or... Next question, Tamika. Stop trying to motherfucking play me for you don't get what you need. Next question, Tamika. This is talking about career here. Brandy is upright. Byron Banks is upright. The two cards in the middle are the infinity card and boost deficit in reverse. This is saying be very open-minded around February and March in, the, in accordance to what it is that you would like to do. If somebody owes you money, they will pay by March. This is a new endeavor happening in the month of April of 2023. And right now, you feel good. Right now, you have good goals. Right now, you um, are in a stationary place where you can actually grow from here. Plant seeds where you are and watch them grow into a motherfucking rose bud because y'all know I love porn. Okay, P-O-R-N-T is the code to take 22% off until midnight when I shut this bitch the fuck down. Okay, that was for Pam. Thank you, Pam. Pam. Okay, who is this down here? This is Tiffany. Tiffany Rowan is down here. But first, let's go over here to YouTube. Boots, may I have a good news reading, please? Yes, you can. There's something about a year. Bruella shows up in reverse. All of your hard work will pay off, even though it feels like you're on an upward trajectory in terms of work. There is more work ahead, but you will be reaping rewards as you are working towards. So congratulations, motherfucking relations, bitch. Yes. <clears throat> They go Lynn, general reading for Lynn. You have the elder in reverse and boots topia in reverse as well. It is an unwise decision to move at this time. It is an unwise decision to um shake too much up right now. I feel like this is dealing with their emotional state as well. I don't feel like you're emotionally ready for the change that you seek. So gather yourself first before actually excavating, okay? Just wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Right. Good news reading over here for Samaria. Hey, Samaria, the king, queen shows up upright. Very lucrative card here, but it's also a card of narcissism. This is don't get too cocky in the race. That is how you fucking lose. Next question, Tamika. Stop trying to motherfucking play me for you don't get what you need. Next question, Tamika. Don't get too cocky in the race. That's how you lose. And it's also saying, um, I don't even feel like you're running the race yet, but this to me feels like it's a competition for something. It makes me feel like America's next top model of some shit. 
you know, and uh, the reason I'm thinking about America's Next Time Model is because I'm currently working on the album after Roadmap tomorrow. <laughs> I know, I don't stop working. Right? And um, it's based on the Seven Deadly Sins. And Boots Bakery is on that album, not this one that's coming out on the same day the music video comes out. I know it's confusing, but you'll understand the drop method when I do it, okay? Um, but can, do you guys have any, like, ideas as to what to call this album it is based on the seven deadly sins so there are seven songs the first one is boots bakery that deals with gluttony and then there's going to be like wrath sloth pride envy greed oh this is going to be so good what should i call it maybe i'll just use an emoji nobody has an emoji named after an album i shouldn't be giving y'all my ideas wait a damn minute but i'm gonna be the first to do it like i'm always the first to eat breakfast oh the breakfast the breakfast the breakfast the breakfast <laughs> the breakfast the breakfast the breakfast the breakfast <laughs> The breakfast. The breakfast is what she said. The reptile card shows up upright. Uh, money. Money to be made. Best believe you're going to make it. Uh, this is saying going off into the second week of February, you have a bonus of some type of lucricity happening here. And I feel like that makes you very happy. But you blow that shit by goddamn summer of 2023. So I'm going to need your ass to um, budget your coins when they come in surplus around that time period. That's good news. Okay, that is. Hey, you heard about the good news? Y'all sleeping on me, huh? How the good snooze? Wake up, nigga, wake up. We, we about, about to, to get, get this paper. paper. I can't wait to listen to his album all weekend. Oh, and shout out to our girl SZA. I've read her once, uh, but shout out to SZA for having the number one R&B album all over the world and being a female or something. She won some type of award. She broke her record. <laughs> Congratulations. And I love how SZA does social media. Like, we feel like we're getting the inside of, you know, her life and stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you, when she missed her cue on that Lizzo show, I had a problem with that. And I'm not trying to hold her. I'm not trying to push. I'm not trying to hold that against her. But performing is key. You know, if 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 that's not given, then I would rather sit in your bedroom and listen to you with that guitarist that you had that one time that was absolutely fabulous. Let me fall in love with you. You know, but you missed your cue. And your and your attire, your attire was was next question, Tamika. Stop trying to motherfucking play me for you don't get what you need. Next question, Tamika. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a harsh critic. I know I am. And I feel bad about that, but there's really nothing there's nothing I can do. There's really nothing I can do about that. Red do lights do car no do insurance do mountain do baby shark do 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 do, do every damn thing do. We have Pilar in the building. Let me go ahead and give you a card, my verified celebrity. I'm I'm, I'm gonna join you soon. Matter of fact, if you got the plug on verification, just point me in the direction of whose dick I need to suck. The Anon Tarot card shows up upright for you, Pilar. This is basically suggesting that vengeance is yours. I feel like you were done an injustice last year, especially around the month of October, and it feels like to me that you are going to get your just desserts, especially going into February and in March of 2000. 23. I still feel like you're in communication with this person, too. And I feel like they smiling in your face. Okay. But they can't take your place. You Vengeance is yours. <laughs> okay. Vengeance is yours. Kyle, you know, Fuller, you got a book like everybody else. I can't get no special treatment. It's 2023. It's 2023. I can't get no special treatment. I can't get no special treatment. But my appointment book is open. www.spiritsquad.org backslash booking. That verified check got you a reading on the show. And there goes her receipt right there. She said, yeah. Pilar, if you have a receipt, give me receipt, colon, and then the uh, what the receipt is so I can go ahead and get there. You know, I like to collect those things. No for verification. Oh! Oh you got to go. Everybody, get Pilar the hell out of here. Finish her. She came because it was a scheme. She ain't got the plug. Could have been she got the plug. A scheme that Todd set up for him to come to you with the book. <laughs> I just went, Pilar. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, let's come down here. Where we at? Um, hey, Boots, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, fan, uh, fans. Uh, who, fans? Fans Reef? I don't even have a sound effect for this. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? 
Fans, Reef, the opportunity is coming. You don't have to force it. Some people, I say, go after it. And you, I'm saying, stand and receive. So what I'm basically saying is you're a top. It's time that you learn how to motherfucking goddamn gay bottom. Stand in a place of receptivity. Blessings will be bestowed upon you. And then it will lead to an opportunity for you to shine. Boots Durango shows up upright. And everybody knows Dr. Mother Miss Boots Durango shines, baby. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, speaking of my name, after I get off this live video, I'm going to drop the name contest. Um, Did I edit it on this phone or that phone? I don't remember. But go ahead and listen to my full name right quick. Then I'll recite it for you again. And then we will go ahead and keep going. Let's see where I did this at. Thank God it's on that phone. So I'm going to go ahead and play it over here so y'all can see uh, the editing skills at work. Motherfuckers get hurt work. Put them in the dirt. Nigga better catch me first. Here you go. Why is it going slow? I'll just go ahead and explain it to you and then drop the video after this. You have to be able to recite my full name, which is Dr. Mother Miss Boots. Never got got by Smith Lash Queen. I see trap. Where's the blunt name? Miss Pan Lift. Take a little struggle like a motherfucker. Lady Cap is Mother Earth. I'm feeling like Nicki Minaj. Don't the dodge. Shake the teeth. The gym queen. Over the top and all the above. Bob from Channel 8. The hip hop oracle. The red carpet crasher. Miss Sweet Potato Pie Durango. You got to be able to. Oh, I forgot the sound effect. Empress got to do it again. Dr. Mother Miss Boots. Never got got by Smith Lash Queen. I see trap. Where's the blunt name? Miss Pan Lift. Take a little struggle like a motherfucker. Lady Cap is Mother Earth. I'm feeling like Nicki Minaj. Durango the dodge. Shake the teeth. The gym queen. Over the top and all the above. Bob from Channel 8. The hip hop oracle, the red carpet crasher, the sound effect Empress Miss Sweet Potato Pie Durango. You gotta be able to say that. Gotta do it for me. Don't worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. All right, you got to be able to say that. You got to be able to recite it. I don't care if you're reading it, but you have to be able to say that you could win $100. That is the contest going on next week. We will drop a contest every single week for something around boots. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'll drop that contest after I get the fuck up off here. Now, first, let's go back up on here and see where we at. Uh, we have Tashina in the building. Uh, Tashina wants a New Year's reading. You have the lust card in reverse. I feel like very early on in this year, you're going to have a straight-up trajectory of comfortability. Uh, this feels to me like relationship, work, and everything levels out by the end of February. This, to me, feels like the 23rd of February, 2023, uh, for a consistent level of energy that doesn't stray too much throughout the remainder of your year. So consistency, brilliant consistency, is yours this year. Okay, what we got? One, two, three. We got three more. Oh, shout out to uh, Alicia Cobb for joining in the Boots Bankery. Come on, girl. We're going to have a good time tomorrow. Yes, we are. Kiara M with the New Year's reading. Design Boots card is in reverse. It is required that you exert yourself a little bit more this year. I feel like what you've been doing is coasting. And in order to stop coasting, in order to petition for something different, we have to do something different. You will have the energy to do this. You have it right now. So make sure you put that energy to good use and stop sitting there eating bonbons and using your energy to get fat, bitch. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with being fat. Everybody seen my gut right here, and everybody know I talk about Lizzo every chance I get. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can use your energy more productively than what you are doing as of right now. Like Lizzo is, she's Puerto Rican today. Yes, she is. I spelled Puerto Rican in this. Rip. Not today, Satan. Not today, neck. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Had a sound effect, boy, shade Liz. I like that. Shakori, good news reading. I love your name, by the way. The Ursuline card shows up in reverse. You're coming out of a depression, so act like it. Hey, Boots, when will I get into the nursing program, please? And thank you. April of 2023. Ivy Iverson was taken during April of 2023, the picture that I used. So I'm going to go with that. Relationship reading for the realist. You have Queen Yerna showing up upright. You got a dead what's in your past in order to get some new ass. Amen. <laughs> you got a dad what's in your past so you can get some new ass right now you're not completely over the situation so therefore it's not going to work out for you in the way that you feel like it should you're always going to find your ex until you get over them notice what i said you will always find your ex lover until in other people let's 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 make this a clear statement you will always find your ex lover in other people until you get over that ex and you have to get over him in order to usher in that soulmate energy I feel like could be on you in the month of May of 2023. Okay. There you're, and that last New Year's reading was for Tiffany, but um, they, they're, they're an ex for a reason. 
I don't know if that was for Tiffany. So this one's for Tiffany. Elve is upright. More work is going to be required of you, especially going into the winter of this year. I feel like right now, um, money's good. I feel like there could be like some burst of income. I don't know if you work on commission or what, but going into spring and summer, there are some bursts up in here. And if you got a pimple on your forehead, you better burst that motherfucker. You heard me? Woo, that'll do it. Okay. <laughs> um, with Elve being upright. You don't upright, have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> With El Bay up right, especially in the summertime, this is your entrepreneurial time period, and there could be love spawning in the month of September for you. Uh, last New Year's reading down here is Tiania. Uh, you have the strength card showing up up right. Look at my bald headed ass, and they took all of us little orphans to Florida, and I took a picture with that motherfucker. How you doing? How you doing? Um, this is a card of resilience. Uh, I think that the previous years have served to be life lessons for you. This is going to be considered one of the easier years for you, but it's not easier. You're just stronger. So revel in your strength and enjoy the, your year. Stand by for badge buying out over there on my Instagram page. Um, I told you I don't keep y'all for long. I'm going to do Badge Brian Hour and do a wrap around of Boots Terrell over there on my Instagram page uh, and momentarily. This is my song Hum Hum. I'm about to play this shit. Drop a pin and tell me where you're watching from. The tip dryer is open until the end of this video. You got a good 10 minutes on that for the weekend. I will be right back. Cameras out in a place where I am bumping. Let a lace pull it down. My edges, they can't see. I'm straight in a race to get to TV. What up, Arkansas? What up, Tennessee? What up, Nola? I'm like a fucking bird. Challenge me, bitch. Don't be fucking absurd. Root stick to the mouth when you don't observe. Back, back, play the whip, bitch. It's what you learn. Make words, adjectives, calm down. What up, Brooklyn? Be the strongest earth. Back wood, put my nail, can't roll up with that. But I agree, what I say, but truly talk to me. Like a lot more work. I eat shit, eat the shit off of your shoulder. No beef when I eat in my gold. Time to go and be torn. Damn, shut up. All right, just a couple of TGI Friday announcements really quickly. Um, again, the tip dryer is open until midnight, and the code word PORNT, that's P-O-R-N-T. Oh! Yes. We'll take 22% off of all of your purchases. I do have some January availability when it comes to sessions. Sign up for the Dream Weaving class, and you do. I promise you, you do want to buy a Boots Bakery admission seat. Uh, Boots Bakery is going to be launching around six or seven tomorrow night, uh, but I will definitely go live beforehand to uh, let everybody know. And then we are going to have a contest in there and a uh, watch party. It's going to be fun. Um, so thank you for joining my new community, Boots uh, Bakery. I'm going to be looking at badges over here on Instagram, and I might tap into the other social medias as well. I had to lubricate my mouth because I'm going to be talking fast. Let's get it in. Uh, Tania, you have a general reading down here. You have the pure tarot card showing up upright. That is uh, make way for new beginnings. Actually petition for them. Uh, if you are working a job, I will not normally say this, but I will quit before I have a backup plan. Opening up new opportunities forcefully. A card from Spirit, please, from Miss Isis. The Carmen card is upright. You are about to be paid back for some deeds that have been done last year. These are not bad deeds, and I feel like you'll be absolutely pleased with what happens towards the end of the year. Is Jamar still dealing with his ex, M? Sheba is upright, not just her. Okay, so in other words, mm, do be tasting better after it come out my <laughs> is Jay still dealing with oh we just oh you you over here too. She, you're everywhere. <laughs> just the same question. You're lit. Thank you for watching on all of my platforms. I love you for that. Um, general reading for the fresh. You have the queen king showing up upright. Um, somebody will approach you in matrimony. This could be a business partnership, but I'm feeling like it's a relationship. Hershia, the diva, good news. You have the Kuji Funga card showing up upright. Your spell is working. Be patient. Full moon in like 10 minutes. It is a full moon tonight. Yes, I thought it was yesterday, but that was the gibbous moon. Yes. Woo! That's my werewolf call, bitch. I know I call geese and wolves. Which one I'm going to call today? Yes. Okay. Um, let's go over here. Um, Marie, here she go. Miss Keisha told me I could send in my readers because we were able to fix the problem. That's what she told you. That's what she told you. I'm about to call her right now. Miss Folk, if you lie, 
I swear for God, Miss Fuck, if you lying, I am going to banish you. Oh God, we finna call Keisha right now. We finna call Keisha right now. Don't worry. Finish her. Finish her. I'm gonna have to put a pause. I'm gonna have to put a pause and cussing your ass the fuck out. Um, until uh, Monday show, we will find out if Marie actually spoke with Keisha. We will find out if Marie has actually spoken with Keisha. To be continued. Um, may I have a general reading out here for Serenity and Kate and the Reaper shows up upright, walk away. Uh, your nails are fire. So are you, wifey? Thank you. Um, we was here. Go Keisha. Here go Keisha. Here go Keisha. Keisha. Hold on. Keisha. Yes. I'm on the show right now. Say hey to uh, Keisha, everybody. Say hey, fans. Okay. Everybody is the best manager in the world. Keisha. Keisha, I have Marie Folk causing a ruckus in the chat room saying that you have spoken with her. Um, have you spoken with her? Yes, I have. We spoke earlier around almost before the recording. And what was the verdict of the conversation? It was not. For some reason, it wasn't when I was coming to her phone, I sent her all of the messages to her work phone, and everything was correct, and she said that she would actually change everything, her number to that phone. So I can't finish her. You what? I can't finish her. No. Bye, Keisha. Question to Mika. Stop trying to motherfucking play me for you don't get what you need. Next question to Mika. Just got away by this much. I gotta be quicker than that. Damn. I was waiting to cut your ass, banish your black ass. Oh, I was waiting to banish you. Sorry, 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 sir. What's going on, LMA? I just got on. Some girl almost got investigated. I had to do some. This is literally what happened. She said, what's going on? She just logged on. And what that look like? That is a good note to end up. Look, y'all have a good weekend. I'm about to break in this new gold hookah. If you want to see it, uh, look on my Instagram page. Um, yeah, I, it's time. I, I got it. I got it. I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. Uh, this is Grand Gesture. I love you guys very much. Have a magnificent weekend. The tip jar is open until midnight using cold points. And um, Marie, with you, we will never be bored. <laughs> okay? Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Jesus. That's what I'm gonna need.